Hello everyone, Dave Landry here from DaveLandry.com. Instead of a market in a minute this morning, I thought I would do a brief update for the 2020 bear market. The media is pretty excited that we had a big day yesterday, and I want to kind of flesh that out a little bit and talk about that. I also want to talk about what does it take for a market to bottom, signs and setups to look for, possible scenarios to play out, and some things to consider. And the bottom line is you don't have to do this alone. Believe me, I get a lot of support from a lot of other people, and I'll touch upon that in just a second. Now, this is a very fluid situation, so if you want the latest bear market updates, you can go to my website, DaveLander.com and click on the top menu, Bear Market 2020 Updates. Now the media is awfully excited. I was watching the news last night and boy, they were celebrating, popping the carts in the whole nine yards. Me, eh, let's not start kissing each other just yet. One good day does not a bottom make. Sometimes the wisdom of Yoda can help you during these times. So let's take a look at this. So we're obviously in a big fat downtrend as evidenced by the big blue arrow pointing lower. And the thing is, when you squint your eyes and look at the charts, you really have to look for that rally. Yes, it was a massive day and the market closed up 9% and change, and that's a really big deal. But in a general scheme of things, based on the recent volatility at least, that's really not that big of a deal. And as you can see, so far, that big blue arrow continues to point lower. So what's it going to take for this market to bottom? Well, obviously, it's going to have to stop going down first. Now, I know that sounds a bit like a Captain Obvious statement, but there's a lot of people calling bottoms. I've been calling bottoms for weeks. Predict early and often, I suppose. And the market just keeps heading lower. So yeah, we did have one good day yesterday, but the thing to watch for obviously would be new lows. And we made a new low way back in March or February, and then we made new lows throughout March. And then obviously we're banging out some new lows recently. And a few days ago we had a new closing low. So keep an eye on those two. And then obviously we went back to making new lows. And then we had the big rally on Tuesday, March 24th. Now, I am a trend follower, and as a trend follower, you have to remember not to try to predict the markets. You want to follow them, but I think it's a good idea to have some potential scenarios in mind. Now, as a pullback player, and this is my cocktail napkin approach, an actual cocktail napkin I had made, in general, I'm looking for a market to thrust. I'm looking to play the pullbacks with hopefully, and I know hope's a dangerous word in this business, but hopefully a resumption of that trend out of the pullback. So with that in mind, let's take a look at the S&P 500. We obviously had this big thrust down. Now the thing is, are we at point A? So what I'm thinking is we'll have a retrace rally at some point, and how high would that go? I don't know. And that's what trend following, like the hokey pokey, is all about. But I do think that we could have a massive retrace higher. The whole world would be celebrating. And then the market could have the potential to sell back off again. Now, I'm just basing this on the emotions of the market, the fact that markets often thrust, pull back, and thrust again. My whole livelihood is built around that. But on that retrace rally, what's going to happen is a lot of shorts are going to get squeezed. Believe me, I started to get squeezed yesterday. It was not a good day to be short. I knew it was coming, I just didn't know when, and that's why we trail stops lower and we take partial profits along the way. But anyway, the shorts will get squeezed, he tried to say. Those who were stuck in this market or are stuck in this market or are going to look to lighten up likely. And when that buying exhausts itself, especially if the market begins to turn back down, you will see the market slide right back down and likely go back to the new lows or lower. Now, I'm using the word likely. We don't know this for a fact. And again, check back off. And that's why I've been doing the bear market updates lately. But let's just take things one day at a time and see how it unfolds. But that could be a very likely scenario. In fact, now that the market's beginning to retrace a little bit, I'm going to have to honor my stops on existing shorts. But I do have some new shorts 
coming into the day that I think are worthwhile. Now, one thing you can do, study patterns such as bow ties and, of course, the TFM 10% system and things like that that I've been talking about quite a bit lately. And keep an eye out for hourly signals, too. And an hourly signal will give you a, a great heads up long before the rest of the world knows what's getting ready to happen. But keep in mind that it doesn't always work, obviously, and you will get some whipsaw. Now, with that said, if you go back to the S&P 500 on the hourly chart and you go all the way back to February, on February 21st, we did have an hourly bow tie signal to the downside. I have one client who is really keen on these hourly charts, and he got out in February, and his wife is like, why are we 80% in cash? And then the market began to crash, and she's like, never mind. <laughs> But you will get some whipsaw, meaning that you will get some false signals and the market will go straight back up. But this is a good thing to watch for. I would, I would pay careful attention to the hourly chart in the S&P 500 with the bow tie moving averages. It's a 10 simple, a 20 exponential, and a 30 exponential. Notice that these exponential moving averages turn up quickly. In fact, as soon as the close closes above them, they begin to turn up. And this is why the bow tie moving averages catch up fairly quickly to price. So once we see a bow tie on well, the hourly chart, doesn't guarantee we are at a bottom, but it would certainly suggest that the retrace rally has begun in earnest. So wait at least for that signal to occur. And obviously before this signal occurs, the market's gonna have to stop making brand new lows. And you can see, again, the moving averages are beginning to catch up with price. So in summary, don't get too caught up in the retrace rally rallies, but do use them to your advantage. If you are still on the hook on something, in other words, still long something you need to lighten up on, by all means, use that as an opportunity. And then, as I said a few minutes ago, also use it as an opportunity to reestablish shorts. What do we trade? We trade thrust, pullback, thrust, and hopefully rinse and repeat. But obviously, in a case like this, a bear market, I see a lot of people getting hurt. It'd be fine with me if the market just went back on to new highs, went back to make new highs. Much easier to trade a market on the long side. I would strongly urge you to study simple trend following techniques such as bow ties, Landry Light, the TFM 10% system, and all of these things that are behind the firewall on the website. In other words, in the members area. But there is a lot of free stuff on the website too. So make sure you become a member, at least a free member, and take the free market timing course. Remember, nothing's perfect. I'm not going to try to be a guru and predict the bottom and call mission accomplished and all this other stuff. I just follow along. Some people even call me a trend following moron. Remember, with trend following, you have to wait for the market to begin to turn. In order to follow a trend, as Greg Moore says, you must first have a trend to follow. So you will be a little late to join a party, but that's okay. It's a lot better than trying to pick a bottom like these gurus have been doing for weeks and getting burnt in the process. And also remember, you will overstay your welcome. But he who fights and runs away lives to fight another day. In other words, right now I'm short. Started getting stopped out of my shorts yesterday, at least one in particular. I may get stopped out the rest, one, rest of them, but that's okay. You have to be willing to give up some profits in the end. That's what it's all about. Now, don't do this alone. If you go to my website right here, I have a sale. It's over half off. You'll get the trading service, and then you'll also get gold membership, which gives you access to the Facebook group. And believe me, it's been a godsend for me to be able to talk with other traders too, bounce some ideas off of them, and then in some cases, reevaluate what I was doing, and it kept me out of trouble. So it's very collegial. We have a great group there. And I would urge you to join, especially now that we're on sale, where you get the trading service and the members area for way more than half off. So check that out on my website, DaveLandry.com. You're looking to talk to me or uh, get in touch with me, DaveLandry.com slash contact. So I want to thank everybody for watching and may the trend be with you. And everyone stay safe and stay sane. Thank you.